What's up? It's Eric with a C. It's been a minute. I haven't talked to you guys. I haven't interacted with you guys for a minute. I haven't really even uploaded that much. And I'm gonna give you the same BS answer that every YouTuber is giving you. Uh, I've been really busy. Uh, I've been just been figuring things out with my life. I got a sex change. That was a dream. <laughs> Alright, so I asked on my Instagram, Q&A, make them good, make them juicy, like a booty, and see what you guys came up with. Here we go. If you are waiting for the waiter, aren't you a waiter? What are you watching on Netflix? Uh, Big Mouth, I just saw that season two came out and yo, it is intense, it's next level shit. I really enjoy that show because no one ever talks about what it's like going through puberty as a kid. So I feel like they do it and they go all out, you know, they don't hold back and I love that shit. That, Rick and Morty, and when there's nothing else to watch, I either watch Friends or The Office on repeat. Who are you getting married to? What's your mom doing later? Cause I'd like to ask her about this question. Uh, maybe she has some good insight. Who closes the bus door after the bus driver gets off? Uh, well, okay, so he, uh, will they climb out the fucking window? <laughs> I'm just picturing the bus driver like, all right, and just. <laughs> no fucking. Will you ever do a video talking about your dad? I haven't seen my dad in maybe about 12 years. He got deported to Mexico. Crazy fact is I'm actually seeing my dad this year, early November, and I'm taking my family, my brothers, and we're gonna hang out with them. Maybe I should make a video about it before I go. We'll see. Maybe I'll vlog it. Cause damn, it's been it's been you know it's been years. So. How do you keep up with today's YouTube trends since everyone vlogs so much? I've been on YouTube for 10 years now, right? And so when I tell anybody about it, the first thing they think of, Oh, are you like one of those vlogger guys that are like filming dead people in a forest? I'm like, no, I make sketch comedy. Oh, what do you mean? Like, like SNL? I'm like, yeah, but like, better. And there go my chances of hosting. I love SNL, but lately it's been a little... Uh, <laughs> what was the question? I try not to do too many trendy things. Nothing recent where I'm like, yeah, okay, let me go do this Kiki challenge. I tend to avoid that stuff because I, I get tired of seeing it. I mean, you know, I... How tall are you? I'm actually 5'11", but I tell people I'm 6. When I put on shoes, like, I'm at... You know, you know, I, <laughs> how was your first time when you lost your virginity? I was 16, 17, and pretty great. It lasted about 30 seconds, but when it hit, like, about 15 seconds, I pretended to have a leg cramp. Ah! Ah! Ooh! Uh, <laughs> time out. But here's the thing. I didn't have a leg cramp. I was about to ejaculate. I bought myself 15 more seconds. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. And she broke my heart. <laughs> Next question. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get into it, okay? You guys keep asking, so let me just... Damn, where do you start? So if you haven't noticed, or don't even follow me on social media, Instagram, you would notice that I am no longer with Veronica. I wanna say like last year where we really started to disconnect with one another. Look, I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I've shared a lot of things with you guys, that being relationships, and I know a lot of the dudes are like, Oh, what the fuck? She had a bum ass body, bro. I'll tell you right now, moving on in the future, don't focus on someone's body. Make sure it's someone that you genuinely connect with and you can see yourself with that person because you love their personality, you love who they are. They make you feel good about who you are. Even if her body was to change throughout the years, in our relationship, there was nothing, there was nothing like bad. We had a lot of fun together. There was just something where I had to be honest with myself and tell myself like, yo, can I see myself with this person for the rest of my life? Whenever I came to the conclusion like, I, I feel like feelings either aren't the same or there's a few things missing between us, you know? And and we would, we would get in some arguments. Obviously, you guys don't see the negative shit online. You know, we're gonna show you like the happy positive stuff. There was just some things that, there was disconnection between us and after you're with someone for a few years, you kind of don't want to waste someone's time and you don't want to waste your time either. I decided to move forward. We talked about it. It came to like a mutual thing. Let's just call it what it is. Is and and keep it cordial it's definitely something where we respected each other as adults and that's how life is and that's how it should be and any advice I can give to you guys moving forward in relationships is one just make sure you're a hundred percent honest I know I had some moments where like I didn't speak up enough at other times I would speak up way too much you know so, oh, that clears everybody's question like we moved on and it is what it is you know please respect her page it was a very cool like breakup it was nothing like dramatic about it and uh, you know, I wish nothing but the best for her. So with that being said, next question. What's next for 2019? Excited to move forward with Troll Adventures again. Me and Alex, with our album, maybe we can tour it a little more. We're actually going to be going on tour, I think at the end of this year, beginning of next. Still want to vote for us to come out to your city. There's a link below, tourdemand.com. And hang tight on that, guys, okay? I'm sorry, it's, it's taking a while. How did you get to team up with Brian Ortega? If you guys don't know, Brian Ortega is a UFC fighter, a really good UFC fighter. You know what? I just DM'd him. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of UFC. My thing is I like to just do shit that maybe it'll work out, maybe it doesn't, you know? 
I was like, I'm gonna just DM this dude. He replied back and he was just like, yo, I'm fucking down. He's like, what do you got in mind? And I came up with this stupid ass script and uh, <laughs> he loved it and it's on my Instagram right now. So if you wanna check that out, and link below. Really dope ass, humble fighter and I fuck with that. I would say go towards a girl that you feel like is out of your league. You know, you might surprise yourself. When you're talking to a girl, listen to her. And then later on when she starts talking about things and you bring up something that she mentioned, she's gonna hit you with that, oh my God, you listen? Ugh, take off your pants. Oh yeah. <laughs> Are you dating or seeing anyone new? Um, uh, hmm. Uh. Uh huh. I've put up relationships on, in the past, like on online, and I also don't want that to stop me from being cute with me and like someone in the future. I'll just I'll, I'll put it like this: there is someone I'm talking to. I've actually I've never felt this way with anybody ever in my life. <laughs> I didn't realize how important it was to me to be around someone that made me laugh so much. I recently met somebody and it's been going really good. She cracks me the fuck up. Just, I, I'm so attracted to that. I never thought that was gonna be a thing that I was like, holy shit, I'm attracted to this. You know, because like, I, I like to turn it on. I like to be the funny one, but it feels good to like have someone else making the same jokes or beating you to the jokes and you're just being like, ah, fuck. Like, that was so good. And I think there's like a level of appreciation for that. And, uh, all right. Ah, uh, <laughs> good. I'll stop there. If you want to snoop a little more on my Instagram, you can kind of start figuring out who this person is. I guess whenever I'm ready, I'll slowly start to introduce you guys to somebody when I'm ready. She actually made a cameo in The Last Chola Adventures. 39? If you look closely, uh, she's somewhere in there. Good! Next question. What do you see yourself in five years? I love helping out people. I know that sounds corny and what everyone else says, but I wanna help more with, with education. I'm gonna be opening up a new YouTube channel that, that's educational. I wanna get myself involved in animation and a feature film. So hopefully in five years, those three things get completed. Let me lick your booty hoe. <laughs> Let me go wash it. Yo, slide over Veronica's number this way. <laughs> I got you. What's your perfect GF? I think after dating for a few years, huh? Okay, I don't know why I'm smiling. Like that. Okay, relax. Relax. It's good to date because it kind of helps you narrow down what it is you like. I love a girl with sarcastic or dry sense of humor. That's just my shit. I, I love a girl with long hair. I also like girls that are into the same thing I am. You know, like I was like all about the gym as well. I think a girl that can make me laugh and her smile. Like I feel like if a girl has a, a gorgeous smile, like I'm, I'm just, ugh, I'm fucking melting. Good. Are you an ass guy or a titty guy? Nah, man, I'm more of a personality with <laughs> booty. If you could go back in the past to your younger self, what would you tell them? I think I would tell younger me, Eric, things in the future are gonna turn out dope. Just be confident in the things you love, and even if you have to fake it, it'll come to you eventually. And there's a saying that I want to say to him. Uh, you can tell the size of a man by the size of the things that bother him. And I think what that implies is don't let stupid shit bother you. It's not a big deal. You're still alive. Be uh, grateful for things you have. And be nice to everyone. Oh, and when you come on your bed sheets, just know that it dries up and turns super white the next day. You don't want your mom asking you why she can crack your sheets in half, you know? <laughs> Learn to do laundry sooner. When is the second part for Back to the Cholo coming out? We released a Cholo Adventures after two years. It's got a very Back to the Future type theme. We go, we mess around with going in the future in the past. We're gonna do a three part episode for this. At the very end of this episode, uh, something happens to Sleepy Brown, link below. As you get older, what are you becoming more and more afraid of? I think just not accomplishing what I wanna accomplish. How do you do your hairstyle? When I get out of the shower, I blow dry it with my head kinda like upside down, dry it in that position, so when it comes up, it's all fluffy. Looks like that little monkey from Tarzan. I put a little bit of gel just to help texturize and to keep Keep it in place like hairspray. And that's it. And with that, we'll close this QA video. All my social media down below. Tour coming very soon. Please be patient. We got new t-shirts coming out. Chola Adventure shirts. We've never had them done before coming out. Check out the website again below. If you guys want to see another QA or if you guys want to suggest a specific video, comment below. And not to get too emotional, but I guess uh, there's something really important I want to tell you guys. Uh I Ooh. Oh, hey, oh, oh, fuck, I need your help. Hey, homie, what do we look like? We're outside of a Home Depot or what? We ain't doing no construction. Speak for yourself, though. What kind of help do you need, Mr. Trump supporter? They're time traveling shoes. We got time travel! Oh, Where did you two get those shoes from? Oh, run, Sleepy, make a run for it! Hey, fool, we gotta find them. This shit's getting real fucked up. You go? I don't feel too good, dog. Thanos! Fuck it, 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 fuck it